Hello, Joe from Computer Music here. Ableton Live 10 has landed. I've just installed the public beta and I'm going to fire it up and have a play with Wavetable, which is a brand new two oscillator Wavetable synth included with Live 10. So here's Live 10. I've switched the skin to the mid dark one, which looks nice and classy. I'm going to fire up Wavetable here. As you probably already know, a Wavetable oscillator is a collection of individual waveforms. And you can see here this default patch has four waveforms and I can scan through them with this wave position slider. And here you choose a wavetable oscillator from this preset list. I'll just audition a few. Something really cool, wavetables interface can be expanded. So I'll just pop away the browser and push this toggle button here. And there's the three envelopes and two LFOs. Nice and big up here. And I can drag this up to expand to full screen. And we've got this mod matrix grid. So I'll drag up to modulate wave position with LFO1. And over here I can change the LFO's rate. Sync it to host tempo with this button. Now I'm just going to flick through and audition some of the wavetables. This wavetable view looks very nice indeed. You can click this visualization switch up here to change to a circular display. And again, I'll audition some more wavetables. Something that's probably worth noting is that you can't import your own wavetables, so fans of other wavetable synths might be a bit disappointed with that. But there are tons of presets here. There's a bit of everything from aggressive tones to more vintage kind of sounds, formant growls, weirder wavetables, that kind of thing. You can choose one of the 11 categories. This is sounding a bit nasal, so I'm just going to pitch this oscillator down an octave. And then up here on the top left, you've got this sub oscillator. I'll use this button to just switch off oscillator one. And you can raise this tone amount to dial in harmonics and shape the sub oscillator. Quickly back to the mod matrix, something I really like about this synth is that uh, the last parameter I wiggled, which was the subtone, now appears here in the matrix. So I'm going to use the first LFO to modulate this. And now I'll switch oscillator one back on. So I'll browse through some more wavetables just to find something better. Let's try this instrument category. You've got these realistic kind of wavetables. This marimba one's cool. Quite like the harmonics in this lower part of the waveform. You can obviously tweak LFO amount and wave position and focus the movement around that area. And the visualization makes that really easy to do. Anyway, I'm not going to get caught up with this sound that's a bit tame. I'll flick through some more wavetables. And I'll go back to LFO 1 and adjust the rate. We've got five LFO shapes here.
and you can shape the LFO waveform. This jagged sign shapes, quite rhythmic. And down here we've got this unison section. I'll choose a type from the list. You can set the number of unison voices and the amount of intensity. And this changes with the different unison types. This kind of unison spread can sometimes widen sounds a little too much. So it seems like a great opportunity to try out the revamped utility device. I'll drag that in. You've now got this width dial to narrow or widen the signal. And there's a mono button below. But it's this new bass mono feature I'm interested in. So now any frequencies below the value you set will be summed to mono. And what's cool is I can punch the headphone icon to solo the frequencies below this value if you want to tune your low end monoing. So back to Wavetable, I'll switch on Oscillator 2. And again, I'll modulate its wave position in the matrix. And now I'll choose a Wavetable. You can adjust level here with this slider. And the same for oscillator one, just to find a nice balance. Then you've got two filters down here. It's a pair of multi-mode resonant filters. And just as with other live instruments and devices, you've got the various analog types to choose from. So let's get the envelopes involved. I'll now use envelope two to modulate filter cutoff. I'm just gonna pull up the amp envelope. I'm just going to dial in more sustain using the amp envelope. And now I'll play with envelope 2, just to sweep a filter. Back over here I can switch to monophonic mode, and then glide below becomes active. Just dial that in. Finally, you can apply an oscillator effect. There are one of three to choose from. You choose with this drop-down menu. This first one is FM, which is obviously frequency modulation. And these effects appear to operate at waveform level. It kind of reminds me of Razor's additive effects, if you're familiar with that synth. And you've got these two parameters to control the effect. Then you've got Classic, which is essentially pulse width modulation, and Oscillator Sync. You can now double click to reset a parameter, which is great. And then this modern effect is kind of like the Classic mode, but uses phase distortion. I'm being quite obvious with these here, just to show you what they can do. But you can be subtle with them and obviously hook them up for modulation in the matrix. So that's Wavetable in a nutshell. A very quick play around with it. Hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of what it's like to use. Just a very quick first look. As you've seen, it appears to be very user-friendly, easy to get to grips with. It is a real shame that you can't load custom Wavetables, but you've still got enough here to make interesting sounds. And I really like this grid mod matrix and just how easy it is to easily modulate the last parameter you've touched. Very intuitive. So that's it for this video. Hit the like button and leave a comment. Let us know what else you'd like us to explore in Live 10. Thanks for watching. <laughs>